everybody. I'm on Lake Chickamauga, out on the main lake. Had a big cold front come in yesterday. Don't know exactly what it's done to the water temp or to the bite yet, but we're gonna give it a shot and see what we can do today. It's supposed to get pretty windy, so I'm gonna fish some main lake stuff first until it's too windy for me to fish this. And we're gonna move back into the creek and uh, see if we can get bit there. But hopefully have some action here. Maybe catch us a big old Lake Chickamauga bass. <laughs> Stay tuned. Dirt bait. Got another one. Feels like a better fish, too. Feels like a good one. I just caught it. This is the next cast. I just caught a little one. Now I got him foul hooked. <laughs> Feel big when you bring them in sideways like that. Huh? <laughs> Yeah. There's a fish. Well, that fish whacked it too. Shallow, shallow water. Oh, it's a big one too. Come on, fish. Nice fish here. Really needs a net. Finally got the net out. It's a good fish. I think I've got it foul hooked. That fish was up shallow now, let me tell you. No, he's not foul hooked. You got it right in the mouth. Yeah, I'm digging. 
Oh yeah. That's what we're looking for. Look at that stud. She's got a big, big mouth. But uh, not real thick, so I don't know what she's gonna weigh. Not too long either. I'd say close to four pounds. Let's see here. Looks like four and a half pounds. It's a good one right there. probably going to be more right on this little point right here because I I bumped what I thought was a fish and the very next cast that fish just smoked it the bottom changed right there I could feel it kind of a, like a thicker uh, or bigger I should say bigger diameter pebbles maybe a shell bed or something you can really feel it with that trap going through there and let me tell you, it did not take long. That fish right there absolutely crunched it. Very hard strike. So we'll take a couple more casts. I was just about to give up and move on down too. I'm glad I didn't. That was a nice fish. Red lips might be eating crawfish, I don't know. of the bar baby he is running too look how big he is yet pretty good size i'd say ah i don't know decent yeah that's a good one. oh he come off like a three and a half or a four. I didn't think he was that big. Found a little sandbar right here. And it was right on the edge of it. It's right out here real shallow you can't even cross it with the boat doesn't look like and I'm towing just on this inside edge that's a really key area on these Tennessee River lakes for sure so keep that in mind fishing the outside of the bar now a lot of times this is where you get your bigger fish for some reason. I guess they have uh, easier access to deep water. Also, a lot of times where you end up getting a daggum <laughs> giant drum or catfish though it seems like. So we're gonna see here. Could be a, a big bass. 
could be a big trash fish, but I got a feeling sometime very soon we're gonna get a big bite, so stay tuned. Feels like a good one too. eat right there. key on that guys I got lazy before and did not switch out the hooks so now I switched them out and that fish right there was it ate it a little better but it was just pinned like you wanted to be pinned also Pull back up here and see if there's another one in that same area I keep waiting to find a group of them but Seems like it's just one and done, except for those two I caught back to back on the jerk bait. Just that'll change here over the next week or so. Really, there ought to be a group of them somewhere. Y'all wait. There'll be a group of them, and they'll be big too. Hit it hard. Especially for being so little bitty. 